Uh, tough test. So, <laughs> good afternoon. So, my name is Lucille Voiron, and I'm the COO of ErgoSup. So, we are going to talk about hydrogen because we are developing um, hydrogen production and storage solution and at really high pressure. So, uh, so today the, the, um, the energetic, we are in the energetic transition phase and in that energetic transition phase we think that hydrogen is going to play a major role. Hydrogen is a fantastic flexible vector and it can address many applications like uh, stationary and uh, mobility and um, so it's um, so yeah sorry so there is uh, i'm sure you all uh, have heard about um, you, have, uh, you all have heard about um, ap application and project where there is hydrogen uh, there is the taxis in paris there are the um, the trains in Germany, and this shows that the market is ready and the re market is here. But it's still slow and the deployment is slow, so why, what is the problematic? So, we have, as we've seen, we have the market. We have also technologies. We have the technology, the hydrogen fuel cell that can uh, transform hydrogen into electricity. We have tanks uh, that we can store hydrogen at uh, 700 bars at, in a small space. And we have really low-cost electricity. But today there is a missing link, which is the hydrogen station and the hydrogen infrastructure. And what is missing is a small, flexible, and at a low cost. That's what is missing. Oh, sorry. So this is exactly what ErgoSup is, uh, is uh, proposing. So we have a system here, uh, you can see on the 3D here. So we are providing electricity and water to the system. And at the outlet, we have hydrogen at a really high pressure directly with no mechanical compressor. And we believe that by deploying that kind of small system, a uh, decentralized small system, we are going to accelerate the hydrogen deployment. And you may wonder why, by using this uh, system, we are cheaper than uh, our competitors. So th the reason is on the core technology, the core concept. So on the top here, you can see the standard electrolyzers. You are producing hydrogen and oxygen at the same time. And Due to that, you can raise 30 bars maximum. What is our uh, disruptive technology is the split electrolyzers. So the split electrolyzers is to separate in two phases, two steps. The first step, we are, produce, we are putting electricity and producing oxygen. Second step, we are producing hydrogen. And because it's only hydrogen, we can let it increase at a really high pressure. We can go to uh, up to 400 bars. So think about that. We can, we can produce hydrogen at the uh, pressure needed for the application. So our uh, challenge is to choose the right application because we have lots of possible applications with this technology. So what is our business strategy now? So, our strategy is to start really small, but to think big. So um, our idea is to really focus on existing market because hydrogen, the market are starting, but it's starting slowly. So we want to focus on autonomous fleets like drones, like bikes. And I wanted to point out the alliance, the recent alliance we have um, uh, done recently with HES, which is a, a light fuel cells developers, and we're going to uh, deploy drones, uh, hydrogen electric drones, we're going to address this market. So the, the consortium, the alliance is called Fly High. And then we want to ramp up to higher uh, capacity with forklift, with the captive automotive fleets, and even to uh, the mass market when the hydrogen economy will be ready. So today, um, to finance this go-to-market uh, phase, 
we are uh, in a, a fundraising uh, process and we are in a Serie B and looking for 10 million euro and we're still looking for people and for new entrants. And to finish, I wanted to present uh, the team and all this will not uh, uh, exist without the team. It's a really multi-competence team. And we, are, we have uh, really uh, strong financial partners also that support us. So um, Demeter that are here in the event and uh, Early Kid Aliad, Arkea and Go Capital. And thank you very much. <laughs>